Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 35 and 36th week pregnancy update. So this is going to be my last where I combine the two weeks and from this week forward I'm going to go into single weekly vlogs because from Monday, and today is Wednesday, from Monday I am considered full term at 37 weeks. So I thought it would be a little bit more exciting to tell you guys what's happening every week, especially since over the past couple weeks a lot of things have been changing and there's actually been pretty regular updates for you guys. So before I jump into that, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I really want to apologise that it is coming up late. I will explain why in a moment, um, but I do have a very good reason, I promise. And I really hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you want to see mummy and baby videos and also probably lifestyle and maybe some beauty videos as well. And yeah, let's jump into this video. I do want to apologise for my appearance in this video. Um, like I said, I just have been sort of in a rush to film this because the reason that it is late is because I have spent the last two days in the hospital. So I'll explain a little bit. I went in for my midwife on Monday. I'll tell you a little bit about that appointment in a minute. Um, but basically, she had some concerns and sent me into the day pregnancy unit at the hospital and they did some tests on Monday and had me come back on Tuesday just to do some follow-up tests. So I spent all day Monday and Tuesday at the hospital. Everything is a-okay. It is all fine. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that a little bit. I don't want to go too in-depth because it's probably a little bit boring. But basically, I was having some... You know, baby was in a weird position. Um, they couldn't find sort of where he was properly, his heartbeat was in a weird spot, um, I was very sweaty and clammy and feeling really unwell and I was also getting some like chest tightness so they wanted to just check everything out so they did some thorough tests and monitoring of the baby and everything is looking a-okay so that's just a little heads up as to why this video is going up late so continuing on with that um, my midwife appointment went really well besides that um, baby is measuring about a week ahead at this current time, which is perfectly fine. Um, and based on my scans and ultrasounds and things, he is head down. His head is right where my cervix is and he is ready to go when he is ready to come out. So that's pretty exciting. Um, they did not do any dilation checks, which I thought they might because it's 36 weeks. But I don't know if they're actually going to do them. I didn't get a chance to ask my midwife. So I don't know if they will, but if they do, I will update you guys in two weeks when I see her again. On to the rest of my symptoms. I have quite a few this week as per every week and I thought I'd just quickly jump into them. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the what I think I'm experiencing lightning crotch and a lot of pelvic pressure. So when I walk the waddle is well and truly underway. I can no longer sort of put off the waddle. I was doing pretty well. I wasn't really waddling up until this past week but now I can't really help it. There's just a lot of pressure and also a lot of pelvic pain um, and hip pain. It's really uncomfortable and I'm getting a lot of jolting sort of genitalia pain which I believe is lightning crotch. So he has definitely moved down a bit. I can definitely feel him lower down. I can feel him sitting on my hips and on my like down there a lot lower and it is very uncomfortable. Along with that I've been getting a lot of strong Braxton Hicks sort of turning into actual cramping pain with back pain which I mentioned to my midwife and she said that that is sort of the start of pre-labor. Um, so you can be in pre-labor for a couple weeks, that does not mean he's coming early, but it is sort of a sign that my body is preparing for labor and they're sort of what contractions will feel like or there's no pattern to them. So when I start getting those sorts of things with pattern in a regular um, amount of time, then they're probably contractions. Another thing I got this past fortnight was I started getting calf cramping in my right leg, which was very strange. I've only had it in my right leg. It only lasted a couple hours. I've had it happen a couple times and it was very unusual, but everything has been checked out. I do not have any sort of um, blood clots or anything like that in my legs. It's just a bit of calf pain. Oh, I also did my GBS swab this week. So if you guys aren't sure what that is, that is your group B strep swab. And that's just a bacteria that naturally grows in the downtown region and um, about 30 or 40 percent of pregnant women have it and if you do have it you will need to be on strong antibiotics when you give birth because you can pass it to the baby um, which can be dangerous for them but not for us so um, I did have that test done this week and I will get my results when I see my midwife in two weeks. Some more symptoms that have come back in the past two weeks have been reflux and indigestion. 
I haven't had reflux and indigestion for quite a while. I did get them during my second trimester, um, but I'm well into my third trimester now at 36 weeks and have not had them for a while. And probably uh, in the 35th week, I started getting them both along with a very reduced appetite, which I'm not sure if that has to do with me feeling a little bit meh and ill. I've been feeling really off the past probably week or so, which was another reason my midwife sent me into the hospital. But I haven't had a lot of um, an appetite, and when I do eat, I do get a lot of reflux and indigestion, which is not a fun experience, and I am not super happy with it coming back. I've also been getting um, a lot of sort of random bouts of nausea. So as you guys know, I did have a lot of morning sickness throughout my pregnancy. That has majoritively cleared up. I still get nauseous, but it's not too bad. I don't really throw up very often. But in the past two weeks, I have been getting random bouts of just wanting out of nowhere, wanting to throw up. I will be feeling perfectly fine. And then suddenly I want to just throw up. It is so random. I did mention it to my midwife. She did say that can be a sign of pre-labor as well as your body starts to move and prepare for labor. Um, a lot of things can upset. Same with the indigestion and the reflux. So very normal and I guess means my body is preparing. I've also continuing to move, feel very strong movements. He is getting so incredibly big now that his movements can actually make me feel nauseous when he does a big roll um, and they can be kind of painful if he kicks hard enough so I really do enjoy having him move and move around and being able to sort of play with him you know poke back move back I'll rest my hand on my stomach and he tries to kick it off when I was being monitored at the hospital he did not like the little uh, monitor on him he just spent the whole time trying to kick it off which the midwife found incredibly funny. She said that he was having a bit of a party in there because it was just reading like crazy. He genuinely kept trying to kick it off and it kept moving it out of position, which made it really hard to get a proper monitor, So, which is quite funny. And he is a very active little baby. All of my scans in the recent um, last two days have showed him being very active, kicking and moving and thumb sucking and doing all sorts of things, practicing swallowing. He does look very cute. Unfortunately, I didn't get any pictures to show you because it was medical monitoring. Um, but he does look like he's a bit chunky and like he's got nice little chubby cheeks. So I'm really excited to meet him when he does get here. Otherwise, the only other symptom I can mention is that I have been feeling really meh. That's the best way to describe it. I'm really starting to feel over feeling pregnant. Um, I'm really hoping that he does decide to come before his due date because I'm really not feeling the best. I'm, you know, really excited and happy to be pregnant and I cannot wait to meet him and he can stay in there as long as he needs to, but I would love if he would come early because we are so excited to meet him and pretty much all ready for him to get here. So really, really exciting, but also starting to get a little impatient. Um, those are all my sort of updates for this week. Um, I have a few things that we've purchased this week, all related to the one topic of breastfeeding that I thought I would mention and show you in this video as well, uh, that I thought you guys might like to see. The first thing I'm going to show you is actually my breast pump. So I have decided on the Tommy Tippy um, Closer to Nature Electric Breast Pump. I read a lot, a lot of good reviews on this breast pump and the bottles that come with this. Um, I was tossing up between this one and the Philips Avent one. Um, just because the Medela one here in Australia is just ridiculously expensive and I did not want to spend that much money. We ended up going with this one because it actually went on sale for half price and we thought, you know what, that's just a sign that we should get this one. So it is just a single breast pump with the actual pump on it and the pump itself comes with a bottle, a sterilizer and some breast pads, which is pretty good. And so we got this from Chemist Warehouse for I think $99, but I think full price it's about... 200 ish or one yeah about 200 is but if you guys are interested in picking this up you can buy this from target here in australia for 150 so that is that one and then on top of that they were having a sale on all of their tommy tippy products so i did pick up some um bottle nipples as well um just some standard three month and six month bottle nipples not super exciting and we also picked up some packs of bottles so we bought two packs of these closer to nature zero month slow flow feeding bottles um so these are the nine fluid ounce or 260 ml ones 
like this. And these are super duper popular. A lot of websites and reviews said that these are very similar to the shape of a nipple. And so this really helps to uh, have the conversion to bottle feed and breastfeed without the nipple confusion. So that was really nice. We did pick up two of these, two boxes of four, because I figured that eight bottles was enough. And if we did need any more, we can buy more. The last thing we picked up was actually our bottle steriliser. So this is just a microwave steriliser, also from the Tommy Tippy brand, as you guys can see. And basically, you fill this with water, you fill this with up to four bottles at a time, or and dummies and other things like that, and pop it in the microwave for, I think, four minutes, and it just sterilises all your bottles and dummies and all of those things for you. So... We are still tossing up on whether or not we're going to buy a bottle warmer. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have used a bottle warmer or if you guys think they are a waste of time. We are sort of umming and ahhing about it. So we might wait till it gets here and see if we use it. If not, I'm not sure. Um, so let us know what you think about that. Oh, before I jump out of this video, I will do a quick bump date. So I will insert my bump here for you guys. Uh, it is getting pretty big. It has definitely dropped, but nothing fits anymore. I had to go out and buy some new just flowy baggy tops today because I had nothing to wear with leggings. I ended up having to wear a dress again because nothing I own fits. Otherwise, that is my update for this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below for more pregnancy updates. There is not long now to go, so these videos will actually turn into postpartum updates and baby updates when he is here. So, super exciting. I'm also getting ready to film the nursery tour, so that will be up when he is born. So you guys will know when that video goes live that he has been born, and I really do want to share that with you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!